3. 24. Science. In class 6 you have learned about some fibers obtained from plants. You also learned that wool and silk fibers are obtained from animals. Wool is obtained from the fleece hair of sheep or yak. Silk fibers come from cocoons of the silk moth. Do you know which part of the sheep's body yields fibers? Are you aware how these fibers are converted into the woolen yarn that we buy from the market to knit sweaters? Do you have any idea how silk fibers are made into silk, which is woven into saris? In this chapter we shall try to find answers to these questions. Animal fibers, wool and silk. 3.1 Wool Wool comes from sheep, goat, yak and some other animals. These wool yielding animals bear hair on their body. Do you know why these animals have a thick coat of hair? Hair trap a lot of air. Air is a poor conductor of heat, as you would learn in chapter 4. So, hair keeps these animals warm. Wool is derived from these hairy fibers. Activity 3.1 Feel the hair on your body and arms and those on your head. Do you find any difference? Which one seems coarse and which one is soft? Like us, the hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers that form its fleece, either coarse beard hair, and to the fine soft under hair close to the skin. The fine hair provide the fibers for making wool. Some breeds of sheep possess only fine under hair. Their parents are specially chosen to give birth to sheep which have only soft under hair. This process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in their offspring, such as soft under hair in sheep, is termed selective breeding. Fiber to fabric. Figure 3.1 Sheep with thick growth of hair animals that yield wool. Several breeds of sheep are found in different parts of our country table 3.1. However, the fleece of sheep is not the only source of wool. The wool commonly available in the market is 2022 to 2023. Sheep wool, figure 3.1. Yak figure 3.2. Wool is common in Tibet and Ladakh. Mohair is obtained from Angora goats. Figure 3.3 found in hilly regions such as Jammu and Kashmir. Wool is also obtained from goat hair figure 3.4. The under fur of Kashmiri goat is soft. It is woven into fine shawls called pashmina shawls. The fur hair on the body of camels is also used as wool. Figure 3.5. Lama and alpaca, found in South America, also yield wool. Figure 3.6 and 3.7. Activity 3.2. Collect pictures of animals whose hair is used as wool. Stick them in your scrapbook. If you are unable to get pictures, try and draw them from the ones given in this book. Find out words for sheep, goat, camel and yak in your local language and also in other languages of our country. Activity 3.3 Procure outline maps of India and the world. Find out and mark the places on the map where you find animals that provide wool. Use different colors to denote the location for different wool yielding animals. Figure 3.3 Angora Goat Figure 3.4 Goat Figure 3.5 Camel Figure 3.2 Yak Figure 3.6 Llama Fiber 2 Fabric Figure 3.7 Alpaca 25 2022 to 2023 From Fibers to Wool For obtaining wool, sheep are reared, their hair is cut and processed into wool. Let us learn about this process. Rearing and breeding of sheep. If you travel to the hills in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim, or the plains of Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan and Gujarat, you can see shepherds taking their herds of sheep for grazing. Sheep are herbivores and prefer grass and leaves. Apart from grazing sheep, rearers also feed them on a mixture of pulses, corn, jawa, oil cakes material left after taking out oil from seeds and minerals. In winter, sheep are kept indoors and fed on leaves, grain and dry fodder. Sheep are reared in many parts of our country for wool. Table 3.1 gives the names of some breeds of sheep reared in our country for producing wool. The quality and texture of the fibers obtained from them is also indicated in the table. Certain breeds of sheep have thick coat of hair on their body which yields good quality wool in large quantities. As mentioned earlier, these sheep are selectively bred with one parent being a sheep of good breed. Once the reared sheep have developed a thick growth of hair, hair is shaved off for getting wool. Processing fibers into wool. The wool which is used for knitting sweaters or for weaving shawls is the finished product of a long process, which involves the following steps. Step I. The fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body figure 3.8. Uh, this process is called shearing. Machines similar to those used by barbers are used to shave off hair. Usually, hair are removed during the hot weather. This enables sheep to survive without their protective coat of hair. The hair provide woolen fibers. Woolen fibers are then processed to obtain woolen yarn. Shearing does not hurt the sheep just as it does not hurt when you get a haircut or your father shaves his beard.
Do you know why? The uppermost layer of the skin is dead. Also, the hair of sheep grow again just as your hair does. Table 3.1 Some Indian Breeds of Sheep Yes No Name of Breed Quality of Wool State Where Found 1. Lohi Good Quality Wool Rajasthan, Punjab 2. Ramapubasha Brown Fleece Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh 3. Nali Carpet Wool Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab 4. Bakhawal For Woolen Shawls Jammu and Kashmir 5. Marwari Coarse Wool Gujarat 6. Patanwadi For Hosari Gujarat 26. Science 2022-2023 Step 2. The shared skin with hair is thoroughly washed in tanks to remove grease, dust and dirt. This is called scouring. Nowadays scouring is done by machines figure 3.8b and c. Step 3. After scouring, sorting is done. The hairy skin is sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated or sorted. Step IV. The small fluffy fibers, called burrs, are picked out from the hair. These are the same burrs which sometimes appear on your sweaters. The fibers are scoured again and dried. This is the wool ready to be drawn into fibers. Step V. The fibers can be dyed in various colors, as the natural fleece of sheep and goats is black, brown or white. Step 6. The fibers are straightened, combed and rolled into yarn figure 3.8d. The longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen cloth. Figure 3.8b scouring in tanks. Figure 3.8a. Uh, shearing the sheep. Figure 3.8c scouring by machines. Figure 3.8d rolling into yarn. The processing of fiber into wool can be represented as follows. Shearing, scouring, sorting, cleaning of burrs. Rolling, dyeing. Fiber to fabric. 27. 2022 to 2023. Occupational hazard. Wool industry is an important means of livelihood for many people in our country, but sorter's job is risky as sometimes they get infected by a bacterium, anthrax, which causes a fatal blood disease called sorter's disease. Such risks faced by workers in any industry are called occupational hazards. Bujo is wondering why it hurts when someone pulls his hair but not when he goes for a hair cut. Bujo is wondering why a cotton garment cannot keep us as warm in winter as a woolen sweater does. Activity 3.4 Debate amongst your classmates whether it is fair on the part of humans to rear sheep and then chop off their hair for getting wool. 3.2 Silk Silk fibers are also animal fibers. Silkworms spin the silk fibers. The rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. Find out from your mother and grandmother the kind of silk saris they have. List the kinds of silk. Before we discuss the process of obtaining silk, it is necessary to know the interesting life history of the silk moth. Life history of silk moth The female silk moth lays eggs, from which hatch larvae which are called caterpillars or silkworms. They grow in size and when the caterpillar is ready to enter the next stage of its life history called pupa, it first weaves a net to hold itself. Then it swings its head from side to side in the form of the figure of 8-8. Eight eight. During these movements of the head, the caterpillar secretes fiber made of A. A male. B female. D silkworm. Adult silk moths. Sea eggs on mulberry leaves. E cocoon. Figure 3.9. Atuf. Life history of silk moth. F cocoon with developing moth. 28. Science. 2022-2023. Protein which hardens on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber. Soon the caterpillar completely covers itself by silk fibers and turns into pupa. This covering is known as cocoon. The further development of the pupa into moth continues inside the cocoon. Figure 3.9. Silk fibers are used for weaving silk cloth. Can you imagine that the soft silk yarn is as strong as a comparable thread of steel? The silk yarn thread is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth. There is a variety of silk moths which look very different from one another and the silk yarn they yield is different in texture coarse, smooth, shiny, etc. Thus, tassa silk, muga silk, kosa silk, etc. are obtained from cocoons spun by different types of moths. The most common silk moth is the mulberry silk moth. The silk fiber from the cocoon of this moth is soft, lustrous and elastic and can be dyed in beautiful colors. Sericulture or culture of silkworms is a very old occupation in India. India produces plenty of silk on a commercial scale. Activity 3.5 
Collect pieces of silk cloth of various types and paste them in your scrapbook. You can find them in a tailor's shop among the heap of waste cut pieces. Take help of your mother, aunt or teacher and identify the types of silk such as mulberry silk, tassa silk, airy silk, muga silk, etc. Compare the texture of these silks with that of the artificial silk pieces, which contain synthetic fibers. Try and collect pictures of different moths whose caterpillars provide the various types of silk. Activity 3.6 Take an artificial synthetic silk thread and a pure silk thread. Burn these threads carefully. Did you notice any difference in the smell while burning? Now, burn a woolen fiber carefully. Did it smell like burning of artificial silk or that of pure silk? Can you explain why? To remember when the cocoon stage is reached in the life history of the silk moth, try the following activity. Activity 3.7 Photocopy figure 3.9. Cut out pictures of the stages of the life history of the silk moth, and paste them on pieces of cardboard or chart paper. Jumble them. Now try and arrange the stages in the correct sequence in a cyclic form. Whoever does it fastest wins. You may also describe the life history in your own words. Write it down in your scrapbook. In India, women are significantly involved in various kinds of industries related to silk production. These are rearing of silkworms, reeling of silk from cocoons and processing of raw silk into fabrics. By their enterprise, they contribute to the nation's economy. China leads the world in silk production. India also ranks among the leading silk producing countries. Fiber to Fabric 29 2022-2023 From Cocoon to Silk for obtaining silk, moths are reared and their cocoons are collected to get silk threads. Rearing silkworms. A female silk moth lays hundreds of eggs at a time figure 3.10. Uh, the eggs are stored carefully on strips of cloth or paper and sold to silkworm farmers. The farmers keep eggs under hygienic conditions and under suitable conditions of temperature and humidity. The eggs are warmed to a suitable temperature for the larvae to hatch from eggs. This is done when mulberry trees figure 3.10b bear a fresh crop of leaves. The larvae, called caterpillars or silkworms, eat day and night and increase enormously in size figure 3.10c. A female silkworm moth with eggs. C. Lava, caterpillar silkworm, feeding on mulberry leaves. B. Mulberry tree. Figure 3.10 rearing silkworms. D. Cocoons. Leap of mulberry. Discovery of silk The exact time of discovery of silk is perhaps unknown. According to an old Chinese legend, the Empress Si Langchi was asked by the Emperor Wang Ti to find the cause of the damaged leaves of mulberry trees growing in their garden. The Empress found white worms eating up mulberry leaves. She also noticed that they were spinning shiny cocoons around them. Accidentally a cocoon dropped into her cup of tea and a tangle of delicate threads separated from the cocoon. Silk industry began in China and was kept a closely guarded secret for hundreds of years. Later on, traders and travelers introduced silk to other countries. The route they traveled is still called the Silk Route. 30. Science 2022-2023 the larvae are kept in clean bamboo trays along with freshly chopped mulberry leaves. After 25 to 30 days, the caterpillars stop eating and move to a tiny chamber of bamboo in the tray to spin cocoons. Figure 3.10d. Small racks or twigs may be provided in the trays to which cocoons get attached. The caterpillar or silkworm spins the cocoon inside which develops the silk moth. Processing silk. A pile of cocoons is used for obtaining silk fibers. The cocoons are kept under the sun or boiled or exposed to steam. The silk fibers. Keywords. What you have learned. And silk comes from silkworms and wool is obtained from sheep, goat and yak. Hence silk and wool are animal fibers. And the hairs of camel, llama and alpaca are also processed to yield wool. And in India, mostly sheep are reared for getting wool. And sheep hair is sheared off from the body, scoured, sorted, dried, dyed, spun and woven to yield wool. And silkworms are caterpillars of silk moth. And during their life cycle, the worms spin cocoons of silk fibers. And silk fibers are made of a protein. And silk fibers from cocoons are separated out and reeled into silk threads and weavers weave silk threads into silk cloth. Paheli wants to know if the cotton thread and silk thread are spun and woven in the same manner. Separate out. The process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling the silk. Reeling is done in special machines, which unwind the threads or fibers of silk from the cocoon. Silk fibers are then spun into silk threads, which are woven into silk cloth by weavers. Cocoon. Scouring. Fleece. Sericulture. Silkworm. Reeling. Shearing. Sorting. Fiber to fabric. 31.
2022-2023. Silk Moth. Exercises. 1. You must be familiar with the following nursery rhymes. I B A A B A A black sheep, have you any wool? 2. Mary had a little lamb, whose fleece was white as snow. Answer the following. A which parts of the black sheep have wool? B. What is meant by the white fleece of the lamb? 2. The silkworm is a, a caterpillar, B. A lover, choose the correct option I A to B3 both are and B. I've neither a nor B. 3. Which of the following does not yield wool? I A to camel 3 goat, I've, woolly dog. 4. What is meant by the following terms I rearing to shearing 3 sericulture? 5. Given below is a sequence of steps in the processing of wool, which are the missing steps, add them. Shearing, sorting. 6. Make sketches of the two stages in the life history of the silk moth which are directly related to the production of silk. 7. Out of the following, which are the two terms related to silk production? Sericulture, floriculture, moriculture, apiculture and silviculture. Hence, I silk production involves cultivation of mulberry leaves and rearing silkworms. 2. Scientific name of mulberry is Morris Alba. 8. Match the words of column I with those given in column 2. Column I, column 2. 1. Scouring, a. 2. Mulberry leaves, b. 3. Yaksi. 4. Kakundi. e. Yields silk fibers. Wool yielding animal food of silk worm reeling. Clean and sheared skin. 32. Science. 2022 to 2023. 9. Given below is a crossword puzzle based on this lesson. Use hints to fill in the blank spaces with letters that complete the words. Down across. D. 1. Thorough version A. 2. Animal fiber. 3. Long thread like structure. 1. Keeps warm. 2. Its leaves are eaten by silkworms. 3. Hatches from egg of moth. Extended learning activities and projects. 1. Find out for her too. Paheli wants to know the maximum length of continuous silk thread that can be obtained from a cocoon. Bujho wants to know why caterpillars need to shade their skin when they grow bigger but we humans do not. Do you have any idea? Fiber to fabric. 33. 2022 to 2023. 3. Can you help him? Bujho wants to know why caterpillars should not be collected with bare hands. 4. Paheli wanted to buy a silk frock and went to the market with her mother. There they found that the artificial synthetic silk was much cheaper and wanted to know why. Do you know why? Find out. 5. Someone told Paheli that an animal called Vicuner also gives wool. Can you tell her where this animal is found? Look for this in a dictionary or an encyclopedia. 6. When handloom and textile exhibitions are held, certain stalls display real moths of various varieties of silk and their life histories. Try and visit these stalls with elders or teachers and see these moths and stages of their life history. 7. Look for eggs of any moth or butterfly in your garden or park or any other place full of plants. They look like tiny specks, dots laid in a cluster on the leaves. Pull out the leaves containing eggs and place them in a cardboard box. Take some leaves of the same plant or another plant of the same variety. Chop them and put them in the box. Eggs will hatch into caterpillars, which are busy eating day and night. Add leaves every day for them to feed upon. Sometimes you may be able to collect the caterpillars, but be careful. Use a paper napkin or a paper to hold a caterpillar. Observe every day. Note the I number of days taken for eggs to hatch, two number of days taken to reach the cocoon stage, and three number of days to complete life cycle. Record your observations in your notebook. Did you know? In terms of the number of sheep, India ranks third in the world, behind China and Australia. However, the New Zealand sheep are known to yield the best wool. 34. Science. 2022-2023.